The French fashion designer Paco Rabanne has given us many fragrances and many unique bottles. Everything from trophies to golden nuggets to Sippo lighters or Sippo styled flacons, all the way up to fragrances that look to me like space guns. But not only the bottles are unique, so are the fragrances. All the way from Chalant 1969 uh, Aldehyde Floral Fragrance for Females to the very popular Nugget 1 million. Paco Rabanne certainly has pushed the boundaries in the fragrance world. Excess is definitely the brand of Paco Rabanne, all the way from the bottles to the fragrances. So in this video I will be going over a fragrance called Excess from its original launch in 1994 and then a relaunch in 2018 and we'll be comparing those two and see what has changed or whether they're still the same. Stay tuned if you want to know more. Hey everyone, I'm glad that you're here. I'm Peter from Centrail, and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're into fragrances or you just want to smell nice, you know what to do. Appreciate it and now let's move right on to our fragrances. Many fragrance enthusiasts say that Excess by Paco Rabanne, the original, smells a lot like Creed Himalaya from 2002. I did a comparison of Himalaya and Excess in a previous video. If you're interested in seeing that comparison, I will leave it in the cards for you. And one more little thing before we get going. I'm not in my studio. I am in uh, Florida, down by Miami. Uh, that's why you see a different backdrop, but I'll be in the studio soon again. We'll be here for about a week, and I just thought I'd shoot a video for you guys. Excess from the 90s is a fresh, or is described as a fresh aromatic with citrus accords. The fragrance is a green herbal with the following notes. Now I will put the notes up and I will leave them there for a little while so we can compare the notes to the new launch from 2018. The 2018 Excess is described as a fresh and spicy aromatic with green citrus and woody undertones with the following notes. I'll put those over here. So as we can tell already, the 90s Excess is a woody aromatic and the 2018 relaunch is a fresh and spicy aromatic. Also we can tell that the rosemary dropped to the base. The mandarin as well as the sage and rosewood are completely gone. No amber, musk, cedar, or patchouli in the relaunch of 2018. We can definitely tell that the excess relaunch from 2018 is on the simpler side. I think it only features like nine notes. Now that's not to say that you can't make a fabulous fragrance with nine notes, or actually with just one note for that matter. And I'm pretty sure that the perfumers Rosento Mathieu and Gerard Anthony knew what they were doing when they were creating Excess for 2018. I find the 2018 Excess a little bit of a fresher scent, a cleaner scent, with the citruses in the forefront as you spray it. It stays fresh with a peppery woodiness, and then you have some coriander, and there's also some terranium. The minty opening of this fragrance is pretty nice. However, as the fragrance kind of goes into the middle, I just kind of feel it sort of average, like something you've smelled before as the fragrance kind of goes into the middle. Towards the dry down of the relaunch of 2018, it gets a little bit more interesting. As you have some oak moss that surfaces, the rosemary in this fragrance keeps this fragrance a little bit on the fresher side. It is almost as if the beautiful dry down of the original is near, but it never quite develops. For some of you, the opening in the original excess is a little bit dated. You have some rosemary, you have some mint, you have some tarragon. Perhaps the tarragon gives it a little bit of a dated uh, feeling to it. The mint, however, in this one is not nearly as strong as in the reformulation from 2018. So there's definitely also this one has the flip top style Sippo lighter, while the 2018 just comes straight off. So there is a difference in that for sure. But as the top notes of the original excess evaporate and it kind of leaves the little dated scent behind, the middle notes come up and the base, and that's where this fragrance really shines. So in my opinion, I like the relaunch of 2018. However, the clear winner for me is the Excess from 1994. There's just more going on in this fragrance and I don't really mind that it has just a slight dated scent when you first spray it. 
It is definitely harder to find 1994 or the older formulation of XS. Now, if you can't find it, you know, don't be disappointed because the 2018 is really well done and it smells very, very close to the original. It's just the dry down is not quite as intense and it is a little bit on a fresher side as of a fragrance. It certainly gave a 1994 fragrance a facelift, if you will, to bring it into 2018. If you can find the 1994, I would get that. That is my personal recommendation. The top notes fade off pretty quickly and it is a beautiful scent that has a really, really, really good dry down. If you can't, 2018 is just fine. You can get it at a really good price nowadays and it's a clean, fresh, more modernized scent with a little bit of that original DNA. Both of them smell really nice. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget, love, like, share, subscribe, all those wonderful things. Centrail.